few months ago, I recreated Mario Kart because of the newest addition to the series, Mario Kart World. But since I use Scratch, I can't detect whether a CPU is on or off the track when it's off screen because of sprite fencing. So if you want to fix this, follow these steps. Step 1, find the game on Scratch. You can do this by using the search bar on the Scratch website or by clicking the link in the description. Step 2, once you're on the project page, look in the URL for the project ID. For GamerCart 1, this is 11648054484 and you want to copy it. Step 3, open up a new tab and type in turbowarp.org slash and paste in the ID. Last step, click the advanced button at the top and select remove fencing under the remove limits category. And that's it. All you gotta do now is actually play the game. I'll test this by letting the computer do a lap on the first map. And... Yes, the car came back. The only problem is that they don't work on the third and fourth maps. Yet.